Eleven and Vecna are not Dr. Brenner's most powerful experiments. There's still a bigger threat. One of her sisters could be the most dangerous entity in the Stranger Things universe. Number 9. If you want to find out who she is and how she could influence the future of Stranger Things in Season 5, stay tuned to this video. And if you'd like to know more about this universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. A memorable scene from the first season of Stranger Things shows Eleven revealing her number 11 tattoo to the owner of the restaurant that had given her food. This number represents that she was subject number 11 on the experiments of the sinister Dr. Brenner. Dr. Brenner tattooed the subjects of his experiments so that he could identify them in the future. By seeing the number 11 on the tattoo, we can deduce that there were at least 10 more subjects before her who were subjected to his experiments. Some of these unfortunately lost their lives in the process, but others managed to survive and like Eleven, developed unique supernatural powers. Such is the case of Kali Prasad, also known as Number 8, who appears in the second season of the series. Kali possesses the terrifying ability to generate hallucinations and visions in her victims. Her psychic powers are even superior to those possessed by Eleven. We also saw Vecna, or Number 001, which was one of this doctor's most powerful experiments. Henry Creel, born into a dysfunctional family, discovered himself to be a powerful psychic in his childhood. After murdering his mother and sister and being hospitalized at Hawkins National Laboratory, he became Subject 001 under Dr. Brenner. He manipulated Eleven to release her repressed powers, causing a massacre at the lab. Defeated by Eleven, he was sent to the topsy-turvy world, transforming into Vecna. There he took control of the Mind Flayer, initiating a campaign to merge the topsy-turvy world with Hawkins and take revenge on those he held responsible for his suffering. But we have yet to see the more powerful sister on screen. Allow me to introduce Jamie, or number 9. She is undoubtedly one of the most powerful, and she has a twin sister that we will talk about later. Jamie was born in a home where she was subjected to constant abuse, when she was just a child, her house caught fire, and only she and her sister were able to escape. They were rescued by Dr. Brenner, and he began experimenting on them. Although it is not clear in her story, perhaps she was to blame for the death of her parents when her powers were awakening. Making her the only person we know of in the Stranger Things universe who generated prokinetic powers without needing to be subjected to experiments. That is, she can turn things on with her mind. Jamie had the power to generate heat and began to learn the potential of her powers. During Dr. Brenner's experiments, at one point, the others watched Jamie perform a test in which she ended up losing control and nearly destroying everything. The scientists were afraid of her. They thought they would lose control over her and she would become a danger to the rest of the planet. So they sent her to the facility's hospital, where she remained in an induced coma. This way, Jamie would not pose a danger to anyone. Dr. Brenner thought she was perhaps the most powerful weapon. Number 9 could destroy all existence if she had full access to her powers. Now entering this story is Nine's twin sister, known as Marcy, or 9.5. She managed to escape from Hawkins' lab along with the rest of the study subjects, leaving her sister Nine behind but vowing to return for her. This theory posits that Number 9.5 will manage to rescue her sister Number 9, who has spent the last few years in an induced coma to prevent her from developing her powers. This is very dangerous because when she is rescued, Number 9 will try to take revenge on all those who harmed her. Perhaps this is the reason why Dr. Brenner will return to Stranger Things because he understands that number nine represents an even greater danger than the Demogorgons. And only one person can stop her from destroying the world, and that would be Eleven. Number nine would definitely go on Dr. Brenner's trail and eventually become a danger to everyone around her. She is willing to do anything, 
even more so knowing that she ended her parents' lives. This is the origin of a villain, and for every villain, we need a heroine. It is rumored that the new season of Stranger Things will include some scenes in the lab where the twins will be shown, and we will see the whole story of number nine. In season five of Stranger Things, we could see Eleven seeking Nine's help to confront Vecna. The story would begin with Eleven realizing that she needs more help to fight Vecna and remembers that there are others like her who were experimented on by Dr. Brenner and decides to seek out Jamie, who might have the power needed to defeat Vecna. Eleven finds Jamie and tries to convince her to help her. At first, Jamie is unsure about joining the fight as she has had a difficult life and is frightened by how powerful her ability to control fire is. But after talking to Eleven and seeing how much they need her help, she decides to join them. The season would focus on how Eleven and Jamie work together, learning to trust each other and use their abilities to fight Vecna. Meanwhile, Vecna would be planning her next move, which would cause Eleven and Jamie to always have to be one step ahead. The final battle between them could conclude with Nine becoming a villain, confronting Eleven, and understanding that Vecna was right. But tell me, what do you think? Will Eleven have to face one of her sisters, who will become a danger to all of humanity? Would you like to see Eleven's other sisters in the series? Drop your opinion in the comments. And for more videos about your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Oasis Geek.